Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see how to solve the maturity concept problem that we have. So we'll straight away begin with that. So here we have a first question with us. It's given the strength of a sample of a fully matured concrete is found to be 14 megapascal or let us say 14 Newton per mm square. Find the strength of an identical concrete at the age of seven days when cured at an average temperature during daytime at 20 degrees Celsius and nighttime at 10 degrees Celsius, right? So how do we find that? First thing is that we know that formula for the maturity of a concrete. So the maturity of a concrete, the formula is equal to summation of time into summation of temperature, right? Now they have given us two different temperature, one in the morning time and one at the night time. So it's very simple now. The first is that for what day is asking me, he's asking me at the end of seven days, right? Suppose if he had given 14 days, then we would have taken 14 days here. Now he's asking us for the seven day. So we'll write seven here. So once the seven is done, let me write it again one second over that seven, right? So once that seven is done, next we are going to multiply that by how much? Actually we have to multiply that by 24 because one day we have 24 hours, isn't it? But here the question is about the day and the night, right? So that is why we have taken 12 days. I mean, 12 hours has day and remaining 12 hours, we're taking it as a night. So that is why we have multiplied this by 12, right? So 12 into now, what is this temperature that is given to us? The temperature that is 20 degrees Celsius. So I'll put 20 here minus this minus of minus 11. This minus sign is will be there. This is a formula what we have into minus 11 is a standard temperature for what my uh, plowman has done the experiment. So I'll take minus 11, try to do this plus again for night also I want to do the same thing again it will be 7 into the remaining 12 hours I'll put it here right into then here he's asking temperature the temperature at the night time is 10 degrees Celsius for me so 10 minus of minus 11 and if you try to do this now you'll get this particular answer as 4368 degree centigrade hour. Now, what is the concrete strength that is given? It is 14 Newton per mm square. Now we have to, now what we need to do? We have this formula known to us, right? This formula is given by the plowman, but we don't know what is A and B. Now, in order to get this A and B, we have to check what is the grade given? It is a 40. So what we need to do, we'll go back and we'll try to see the chart what we have. So with the help of that chart, we can find. So 40 is given here. Yeah. Yeah. So now 40. So this is less than 17.5. 17.5 to 35. This is 35 to 52.5. That means my 40 lies in between 35 to 52.5. And corresponding to that, I need to take this. So this is how it is. And corresponding to that, I have a constant coefficient as 32 and the coefficient for B is 54, right? 32 and 54, that's it. So try to input this 32 and 54 over there. So what we have done? So the strength range of this concrete falls in zone three of which A is 32 and B is 54 as I showed you there. So therefore the percentage strength of the concrete at the maturity of this particular temperature is uh, that is for the seven day is equal to A plus B log 10 the maturity what we are getting is 4368. This same thing you have to write divided by 10 to the power of 3, right? So otherwise you can write in this way also 1000. Now try to do this manually. You're going to get the answer. That is the strength at seven days is equal to. Yeah, so you have to come here, which is equal to 32. A is 32 plus B is 54 into log 10. So divide this that is 4368 divided by 1000 comes out to be 4.368 log 10 of 4.368 you try to do try to do it individually because you have to apply the bottomers formula here right because first bracket of division multiplication and subtraction so this you have to multiply then you have to add this so finally you are going to get 66.5 now he's asking us for the seven days no so therefore the strength at seven days will be 40 is that ultimate what i'm getting for the matured concrete into 66.5 this is what i've got but this is in terms of percentage so 66.5 divided by 100 comes out to me 26.5 megapascal so this is the strength what i'm supposed to get at the end of seven days right yeah now similarly we'll take up another problem 
a laboratory experience what they have conducted in pune on a particular mix showed them the strength as 32.5 mega pascal for a fully matured concrete next is find whether he is asking us find whether the form work can be removed by identical concrete which is placed in shrinagar at the age of 15 days when the average temperature is 5 degree celsius since it's a very cold uh, place shrinagar that is in jam yeah so the temperature is 5 degree celsius if the concrete is likely to be subjected to a stripping stress of 25 mega pascal what is this stripping stress that means at the end of 15 days you have to try to take it out no you have to try to take out the shattering at that time since your concrete will be gaining certain strength it will be subjected to certain uh, dead load over that and also when you try to take out the form work you will be applying a pressure to that so that is given as stripping strength of 25 mega pascal so strength of fully matured concrete is given as 32.5 for us maturity of a identical concrete at 15 days when cured at 5 degree celsius will be 15 is given temperature as uh, so 15 is a day given so 15 into uh, now here we don't have morning and night that is one entire day will have 24 hours so multiplying this by 24 into what is the standard temperature given for us 5 degree so 5 minus of minus 11 is a minus 11 is a reference what we have to take if you try to do this we get 5760 degree celsius has now he is giving us 32.5 mega pascal now for 32.5 i need to check what is the a and b constant so i'll quickly go back so 32.5 falls in this region 17.5 to 35.0 right in this region 32.5 falls and the corresponding a and b is a is 21 b is 61 for me so i need to put that values here so if you see here this concrete falls in zone number 2 so it has got a as 21 and b as 61 percentage of strength is equal to a plus b log 10 maturity upon 1000 which is equal to a is 21 plus 61 into log 10 maturity we got has 5760 you divide it by 1000 it comes out to be 5.76 and try to do this log 10 of 5.76 you are going to get 67.38 so therefore the strength at the end of 15 days will be whatever is the ultimate strength given that is 32.5 into 67.38 by 100 so this comes out to be 21. 9 mega pascal now you now the important thing is that he is give he is telling us that once you take out the form work after the end of 15 days this let us say you are putting a form work for a column right this is a column i am considering uh, and it is it will be subjected to a load of 25 mega pascal right and now you are done the calculation and we have found that my concrete is only able to take a load of 21.9 mega pascal so always my capacity should be more than the demand isn't it that is how we try to do that is demand d upon capacity so this should be always less than 1 or 1 it should not be greater than 1 right to put it in a better way let us say i'll speak in terms of kg now 100 kg is a load coming on my column so this is the demand right my capacity should be more than that let us say my capacity is 150 now what will happen if we try to take out this ratio 100 divided by 150 will be less than 1 only i am getting 0.67 that means this particular column is subjected to 67% of the load now if i do the other way around let us say my demand is 150 and the capacity of my column is only 100 then what will happen to my demand by capacity ratio So 150 divided by 100, which has gone to 1.5, that means it has exceeded. It should not be greater than one. It has exceeded. That means it's going to fail. Now the same logic we apply here. Here we know that 25 mega pascal load is going to come at the end of 15 days, and by calculation we are getting 21.9. That means since the strength of the concrete is less than the strength to which it is subjected while stripping the form work, the concrete may fail. Therefore, the form work cannot be removed at the end of 15 days. Right? so this is the importance of calculating the maturity concept now the next is that the further then when you can remove if i cannot remove this at the end of 15 days then when the complete maturity is going to happen so for that they have given this formula which is equal to m divided by 24 into t minus of minus 11 where m is the maturity of a given strength and t is the alternative temperature in centigrade in the above example for reaching the same strength the number of days required will be 
m divided by 24 minus t minus minus of 11, which is equal to this is full maturity I'm taking. That is 19,800. This is complete maturity what I'm taking, which we know that it's a standard value divided by 24. And then temperature is at 5 degree 5 minus of minus 11. So if you do this, you are going to get 52 days. So it is to say that the concrete cure at 5 degrees Celsius would take about 52 days to achieve the full strength, right? So in this way, we need to do the calculations uh, if they ask us to uh, solve the problem on the maturity concept. So I hope uh, you got the idea how it has to be done. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.